who is to be the, the kingpin for the Pacific Rim region. Australia has already been signed off to to China, really, who will be the dominant region for a while. And for all those Australians that think, well, they'd never do that to us, don't you believe it? They will. I was astounded at what happened to Rhodesia and then South Africa, which were part of the British Commonwealth, remember. They were founded, supposedly, founded with British backing and charters. They were colonies of Britain. And the, the, African, the African National Congress just suddenly appeared with massive funding. It was called the communistic system at the time. Well armed, all the rest of it, and fighting went on for many, many years. And then when the final push came into Rhodesia, there wasn't a peep came out of the British media as to what was happening. Unless you knew people there, you wouldn't know what was even going on. With a brief little mention that it's a sort of passed away when all these uh, people had uh, flown out of the country before they were killed. And the reason for it was that was also part of the agenda. These, p these places were founded to rape the wealth for a long time by the same elite, and they did. Cecil Rhodes was backed by Rothschild and De Beers to, to basically monopolize the gold and diamond industry at that period and they were still on the gold standard. They're not on it now. They still use it, but not the same way. And now that its function was over, they could simply dispose of those countries. And part of the plan was to unify Africa, just the same as we've been amalgamated. Uh, Mandela's job is also to unify the whole of Africa. Unification. And, of course, they used the old tribal techniques. We're all one. We're all one big nation. And the schmucks go along with it, and then they get ripped off and wonder what happened and where their dream went to. And for all those agencies that have worked towards this great plan for such a long time, should dig into the writings of Clymer, of the Rosicrucians, in the United States, and read the convocations they had, the, the big meetings they had, especially the opening one uh, when, they, when they founded their main building in the United States. And he said, we summoned, we, the Rosicrucians, summoned the Blue Lodge. And he mentions the Eastern Star and all the other organizations of Freemasonry. He summoned them all and they all came. And they pretend they're all different. Who's kidding? Who? And in that meeting, he ended it by saying, We shall not rest. This is the early 1900s. We shall not rest until the eagle of Mexico flies alongside the eagle of the United States, as it should be. The amalgamation. Oh, what another coincidence, eh? Isn't the world just full of it? Well, that's the, the bell coming up. Meaning, uh, uh, my minutes are left. So please look into uh, cutting through the matrix dot com. Uh, there's more stuff going up all the time, and uh, check into the, the the stuff for sale because it keeps me going. And uh, thanks for the support of those who have uh, sent off for books and so on. Nothing's fancy, but it's it's truer than anything else you'll buy in the glossy paper bags. Thanks for listening. Bye for now.